we had a guy pull up in a Jeep and he's like on a CB radio. Like, I'm pretty sure the police are probably gonna be kinda sorta looking for us. Good morning, guys. I stopped filming yesterday after the car wash. Actually, I kinda just fell asleep. But it's bright and early, I got coffee. We're off to Iron Gate Motor Condos. Andy from Chi-Town Exotics told me that uh, there's uh, th there's gonna be a few cars there this morning. So we definitely gotta check that out. And then we're headed to meet up with Detroit Modded. Um, they're actually on their way into Chicago, rallying a few cars in here, and uh, we're gonna go have some fun. I thought I was good to go, but I don't know where my key is. I'm good. I'm good. Iron Gate Motor Condos is a place a little outside of Chicago, and basically they're condos for cars. And uh, right on site is Fluid Motor Union, European car, exotic car repair facility. Uh, during the, I think they call it Chrome and Coffee event, which is what we're at right now, they open it up for everybody to kind of actually walk around their uh, repair facility here and see all the different stuff that they work on. I love the color on this Gallardo. And it's an LP550-2 with two turbos. That's exactly what I need. I have no idea what they're doing to this Ferrari, but that looks sad. Every person I tell that I'm going to Iron Gate Motor Condos are wondering what on earth a motor condo is. So. Let's explain. This is a motor condo. It's a high-end garage. We've got a loft up there, a small kitchen for having events, and it's basically just a place to park a lot of cars. And in this case, a few very, very nice cars. All right, everybody, comment below. The 720S, the Aventador, or the GT3 RS. You guys know where I'm at. You said you've <laughs> never sat in a Lamborghini. No. Should we fix that? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> His, his is better than mine. You, 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 take, you take that option. <laughs> I saw you driving. You had this out last night. I was, I was behind you in the Gallardo, and I'm like, I'm like, that's a sick event today. I love the wing on it. Thanks. I really want uh, what, what kind of wing is it? No idea. Oh. It, it, it looks definitely not fat. I mean, no, I'm, not fat I, is it, I, it looks like 1016. <clears throat> I'm from Kalamazoo. Hey, bud, come oh, here. Oh, okay. shut up. It, My it, family was. <laughs> <laughs> go get inside. Oh, I can go in? Yep, go for it. Is the key in it? The key? I don't know where the key thing is. Oh, yeah, it's right here. All right. So, I'm going to close this door. Oh, no. There's no way. All right. No! Go, you don't have to do anything, just turn the key and it'll start up. You gotta hold it for a second though. Lamborghinis take a second to start. Keep turning. <laughs> oh my god! Do you know which one the gas pedal is? Yeah. Go ahead and stomp on it for me. Nope. All the way to the right. There you go. Go ahead and turn it off now before we get in trouble. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? Thank you so much. This looks like nearly my dream garage. Take a deep breath and relax for a second. Need an Aventador in here and then I'm probably good. Got the Rolls Royce, the Mercy, the I8. First gen NSX. 430 Spider. New NSX. <laughs> How's it going? I assume the door was open that meant come in and check it out. Yeah. It's not snowing or raining, so we're hoping people come by. Feel free to come up if you like. Tell me about the car. Um, American made. Uh, it's the continuation of the Russian, of the, of the Noble. Okay. So, Noble was the original one. This is the the 
progression. Okay. What motor? 3.5 twin turbo racing engine. Horsepower. Uh, we dynoed last year 498 on the on the wheels. And it looks like it's ridiculously light. 1900 wet. Woo. It's so, a cool car, man. Yeah. <laughs> the wing makes 2800 pounds of downforce. Holy crap! No ABS, no traction control, no. And a true manual. And a six speed. <laughs> These places are so sick. Everybody decorates them differently because obviously it's a condo. You do whatever you want to with it. But we've we've been inside a few different ones and you can see he's got this really cool wall. His staircase is completely different. Flooring is slightly different. And then the really cool wall in back here. And uh, of course, you gotta have the bar. But it's, uh, I, I don't know how many we've been in now, three or four, but every single one's different and uh, it's really cool. Obviously besides the cars, the garages are amazing. Ah, we found them, the muscle car garage. <laughs> if you can call it that. Love the, uh, the ACR. Oh, I saw you riding around in the, uh, the Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> Andy from chi -Town Exotics was supposed to be here today and of course he didn't show up, he overslept. I'm calling you out, Andy. <laughs> he did, however, hook me up with this amazing collection. The owner opened up the door so that I could come in and show this to you guys. Um, I said before that one of the garages I was looking at was probably my dream garage, but that was a complete and utter lie because it wasn't this one. I got the new Ford GT in white with the orange seats. That's sick. Got the old GT. The 918 Spider in acid green. If you're gonna have a 918 Spider, come on, I mean, look at the color. You might as well just let everybody know that you're there. The white on white Countach. And come on. The Speciale, I mean. It's like the ultimate V8 Ferrari. The F4, oh, okay, I lied. Not the ultimate V8 Ferrari because this takes the cake. And then we've got the classics in the back there. The Stingray, the Cobra, which I have not asked the owner if it's real. We'll get to that. The De Tommaso and the GT350 and the classic Lincoln that I just don't know enough about to a, give you any sort of details, but this is a dream garage. I asked the owner what his favorite car was here. He doesn't want to be on camera, which is cool. He opened his doors to me, so thank you so much. But he said it's kind of like trying to choose your favorite child. You can't pick one. He said the Porsche is going to be the best, like if you wanted a, almost like a daily driver, this is the best driving, best handling, most fun car out of all of them. But he also loves the 67 Vet for all of its amazing characteristics. And of course, uh, as almost any of you would probably already know, the Countach is like the, the worst one. Looks so cool, but awful, awful driving car. There is really nothing redeeming about driving that car except for the fact that it looks cool. The, uh, the, the gearbox is awful. That is as far as the windows roll down, so that's all you get. And uh, the seats, not exactly very comfortable. And of course, the rear visibility. Yeah, try seeing behind you. It's almost useless. One of the guys that was at Iron Gate wants to catch up with me and see if he can get some rolling shots. The car is still dirty even after the car wash and I need gas, which is kind of normal. So I'm here at a gas station. They have a car wash. I think I'm gonna wash it again, even though it was just washed and hopefully maybe it'll look halfway decent for some rolling shots. All right, so we're gonna go do some rolling shots and you're gonna be 
chasing me in the M5. Yes, sir. <laughs> the amazing M5. Baby. 20 cylinders when this thing isn't misfiring. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, what, 2% of the time? 98. <laughs> <laughs> you have purchased the deluxe watch. Please drive in slowly and follow the instruction sign. Oh, window. And it says I need to back up. I went too far. No comments below about me going through a car wash. When it's your car, you do whatever you want to with it. This is what it takes right here to get the rolling shots. Sticking out the window of an M5 at 70-ish miles an hour in 20 degree weather. I mean, it's gotta be so cold. I should have gotten some video of it, but uh, we had a guy pull up in a Jeep and he's like on a CB radio and uh, he's pacing us and pacing them over there in the BMW. Dude, he was flipping out. Like, I'm pretty sure the police are probably gonna be kinda sorta looking for us because I think he, uh, I, I, my guess is like he was calling the police and saying that we got dude hanging out the window over here and uh, you know, we, we're not speeding. I mean, I mean, you know, maybe a little tiny bit, but I'm not. We're we're not being we're not being crazy or anything. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to watch his signals over here in the BMW and vlog at the same time. He's still trying to get the rolling shots, and I'm still trying to drive. And and now I'm kind of looking for the police because I'm I'm. I, I can't be 100% sure, but I don't see any way that that's not what he was doing because when I slowed down to like 45 miles an hour because he was right on my butt, when I slowed down, he took off in that Jeep and probably did like 100 miles an hour in this stupid little Wrangler to try to catch up to them in the BMW. I, I, I don't know what he was trying to accomplish, but anyway, that was fun. My friends from Mata, Detroit kind of got themselves in a little bit of trouble. They had like a 60 car crew that was coming in and um, we'll tell a little more about that story later. They, uh, they had some issues in Michigan and the group got all broken up, but we got a couple of them rolling with us right now. We got Mitch in the WRX. Apparently there's a whole other crew farther ahead of us. And then uh, we got a guy back here in a Mustang, but I don't know him. And, uh, Oh, that's a little scary. I got a Mustang behind me. I like Mustangs in front of me, not behind me. So I was a little nervous about having a guy in a Mustang whipping in and out of traffic behind me. <laughs> right? I, I, I was like, I think he should probably be in front of me because when he loses control, I want to be, I want, I want to be behind him. No, when we first <laughs> left, I don't know, some guy in some car that was with us. He, I don't know what happened, but there was so much snow on the road. We were getting off an exit, and he just completely went sideways, and nearly sideswiped the guardrail. I'm like, oh. oh, it was like right in front yeah. of me too. I was like, oh, that's. Not All right, so you were behind me. You probably didn't see it. I got to yeah. talk to Mitch. He got air. Yeah, yeah, oh no, we, you got air too. Did Your I? rear yeah, tires we came saw off. It. Yeah, that was, no, because here's the thing. I see Mitch jump in jump a in Lamborghini. Car, and then I see you, your rear tires come Please. off. I'm like, oh shit, I better hit the brake. Please <laughs> tell me you got that on video. Please tell me you were rolling. I, my, yeah, I, think, I did. I, if you did, I want that. Okay. But I swear, your rear tires did come off the ground. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, nice. Unfortunately, I shut off the camera at about 120 and started focusing on my driving. Yeah. Uh, you know you launched your car. What? That nasty bump on the highway? Oh, yeah. Dude, you, you straight up launched it. Apparently, they were behind me. They said I did too, but I was like, whoa, rally Subaru today. Yeah, no, I remember that, I, that happened like, um, a year ago, I came here with my friend. He wasn't buckling the back seat. On that jump, he hit the ceiling. And Colin was like, hey, I think this is where Colton hit the, and then we hit the jump, and we were like, dude. oh, yeah, dude, that's, it's a, it's a launch mode. You, I mean, that's you seriously launched jump. it. Yeah, I, I felt, I felt it in the air. I was like, yo. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the camera wasn't rolling. I literally shut off the camera, like, maybe three seconds before that. We had to be doing 120, 130 at that point. I haven't eaten anything since the crappy hotel breakfast. But raising canes coming through. You got enough sauce there, Mitch? Oh, Honestly, yeah. I think I should, I'm gonna need one more. I'm not even. <laughs> the uh, Mustang over there. The Mustang. 
Oh, like I heard it. Walking out, he drove by. I heard it. Yeah, it's that, I'm hearing it right now. Yeah. Yep. How's the Lamborghini? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. I don't think they like me on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did you see the cop behind me? Yeah. So, like, I was whipping, I ran that one red light trying to keep yeah. up with you guys. I hardcore ripped out into traffic and had somebody really mad at me. I'm like, oh, crap, somebody slap, called yeah. the police. And he's like pacing me the whole time. Dude, he pulls up next to me and he's like, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. So then I, I started ripping on it for him, and then he gets his camera out. So he, I've got a cop with the camera. I thought I was in trouble, and <laughs> those guys under the bridge were freaking oh, yeah. out. We come by, and they're like, "Dude, is that a Lambo?" I'm like, "Oh God!" Here we go. I heard driving in a Camaro for a couple hours made you sick. <laughs> yeah, we need a Lambo. <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh man, it'd be so much harder in a Lambo. Oh, dude, That'd those seats, tough. those seats are like sitting on cinder blocks. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> well, thing I've ever said, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I felt so old getting in and out of that thing. <laughs> it's a Camaro and it's in a tow zone, bro. Come on. It tows your. <laughs> it's gonna tow your Lambo. <laughs> you're just. I mean, like you're just straight up asking for it. Oh man. Wait. And your brown skin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> said it before, I'll say it again. One of the best things about Chicago, they have tunnels. Well, you guys have fun at the auto show. I'm, t I'm taking off. It's time for me to head back to Michigan. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting I'm well. heading back to Michigan a little earlier than you guys. Okay. <laughs> probably best. <laughs> I've already, well, I've already done the auto show. I got to oh, go really? for media, so okay. I've already been through the whole thing. I hope you feel better. I mean, uh, I'd give you a ride in the Lamborghini. It feels a lot better. <laughs> but unfortunately, you guys are sticking around for a little while and I'm not. But right. man, it was good to see you. Nice Having you here really helps because I can barely reach that thing from down here. <laughs> yeah, you do. Have a nice one. You too. I hung out with the guys longer than I should have. I'm tired. I've got a room. I'm going to bed. That's going to be the end of this video. Hit the subscribe button, throw me a like, and I'll see you next video. Bye.